Hi, I'm Rochelle from Sunbury Local Businesses and this morning I am with Tim from Sage Business Group in Sunbury. How are you this morning? Yeah, very good, Rochelle. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Excellent. Now today I want to talk to you uh, a little bit about some of the digital recording or the, mm. the capture of all of our content and the apps that are, that are in play. Can you tell me a little bit about that in terms of compliance? Yeah, I think what we're seeing now in digital age is more and more data. And data is our friend, it's also our foe. Yep. So data is everywhere. We're giving tax office, we're giving work cover, we're giving super guarantee information, we're giving payroll tax, we're sharing data with Centrelink all the time, and they're sharing data as well. Yep. So I guess what we're finding here is more and more data is out there, and in the digital age, we need to embrace that somehow yep. uh, from an accounting and tax perspective, but also we need to be ready for what does that mean from a bigger picture point of view, if all the authorities have more information, well then compliance is going to become a much bigger issue for them as well. So is it something that we should actually be worried about? Um, yeah, it's an interesting question. It's got that big brother feel yep. because you've got a tax file number, you've got a date of birth, hello, here's my information. But I think the reality is we can only control the controllables. We can't True. go and control things that, we, that are outside of the domain. So what we need to do is manage risk. And how we manage risk is through use of appropriate apps, use of appropriate systems. All that sort of stuff can make a real difference to the way we address this changing landscape. So I guess you're right, we don't need to be worried, but we do need to be prepared. Mm. So what sorts of solutions can we look at? Yeah, I think we can embrace the digital age, and I guess it's a, it's a movement. So for some people, it's as simple as uh, taking photos or retaining information on their computers, setting up file storage there and retaining it there. The challenge with that, I guess, is that we do change our laptops so regularly these days. We've obviously got disposable society in so many respects things update. So we then also think that, that whilst it does work, you can then look at things like uh, Receipt Bank is an option, yep. Hub Docker, these are sort of options around there. We're probably leaning towards Receipt Bank as a really good way of capturing data. So if you're in the, I guess if you've got say a rental property for example, yep. why wouldn't you capture your data there? You don't have to worry about things fading, things missing, and it's all captured in one place. If you've got share portfolios, so more and more clients are getting share portfolios, where do we retain all this information somewhere that's safe? Okay. Saves us trawling through there. Uh, vacant blocks of land, you buy a block of land, yep. you might buy it now, sell it in 15 years time, well how do you get the data on the way through? So we're really fans of using things like Receipt Bank and the like because it does give that ability to be able to go more globally yep. than just on your computer. Is Receipt Bank uh, for individuals as well as for businesses? Yes, so I think it's sort of been promoted very much as being something for businesses initially. Yep. But we think you can adapt it really heavily to okay. individuals um, because we need some way of retaining data. Yeah, our of own course. data. So yeah, we're really into the idea of using it for individual returns. Um, now you get uh, the pricing on the on their apps and the like, but what we've done is we've set up some wholesale pricing as well. Okay. So there might be some options there also. So I guess if they're a client of yours, then you can actually support them, whether they're an individual or a business, Absolutely. in terms of being able to store some of their content or some of their receipts and their information as well. Completely, yeah, especially for the whole of life client, going from, you know, as I say, initially buying, buying an asset, down the track, disposing of it, holding the way through, that whole of life process. Yeah, fantastic. And so to contact you? Yep, just uh, go to our website, sagegroup.com.au. Yep. Uh, and that's probably the best way to get in touch with us is welcomes there, the phone number of course, 9744 7144, right. and away we go. Fantastic, so Excellent. come and see you. Definitely.